Hey guys, it's Color Fardy, and welcome back to Papa and Pep's Balloonorama. We're continuing our old game today. Love that sound effect. And in the last episode, we beat the World 1, the outskirts of Cartown, so here we're finally in Cartown. Ready to do something really fun? <laughs> Papa, you took the words right out of my mouth. So this is kind of like an old-school car town. Everything's orange, you've got the gas station, you've got the town square memorial, and you've got incredibly catchy music. I mean, I love the World 1 music, but this is much more upbeat and happy than that one. Yeah, you'll notice when I do the bounding leap, I can't even reach the top of the balloons. So, hedgehog spin will have to do. Pop it occasionally do that. Like that fanfare. So you'll notice in the last episode, on the last level of the world, the uh, spaceship appeared. I believe starting in World 2, the spaceship will appear on any level that is evenly divisible by 5. So any level that ends at a 5 or a 0, well, I believe will have a spaceship on it. Pep, please just hit that balloon. Pep, please stop making this so difficult. Ooh, this introduces question mark Ready balloons. To do something really fun? <laughs> question mark balloons move after you throw Pep for the first time, and they contain very special prizes inside them. Better than candy. They also have a tendency to move away from Pep, which is a little annoying. Let's pop it. Oh, that's a rubber band? If we get it, Papa gets it turned into a stretch limo and it makes it much easier to carry Pep. Great power up. And yes, it lasts throughout this level into the next level. I believe it, it lasts for a certain amount of time, but it also vanishes after you drop Pep. And rest assured, I will drop Pep at some point. Because these levels get hard eventually. And if Pep goes above the top of the screen, it'll make that little -la 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 sound effect. Goodbye, Walmart mascot. Be Meyer or be nothing. Alright, time to test my spaceship theory. Phew, almost dropped Pep there. Oh, yep, sure enough, sometimes the UFOs appear not, like, after you pop the last balloon. Yes! We're going to the bonus level! It's a great way to get a lot of points. Bonus level. Bonus level. We're back on the moon! And Pep has a space Come helmet. On. It's time to do some more popping! So Pep with the space helmet will fall much slower. And these spaceships have these little aliens inside that are worth as much as candy. And now that we're stretch level pup pup, we can <laughs> The space helmet is great for going super high. And for making it a bit easier to catch Pep. Atmospheric music. Ah, it's hard to aim Pep sometimes. There we go. Beautiful. Ooh, another question mark balloon. Right in between those. Well done, Pep. Ooh, that's an extra Pep. 
you get an extra pep by collecting those. You can also get an extra pep by, I believe, collecting a thousand points. I'm just waiting for Stretch Limo Pup Pie to go back to normal, in which case, I'm probably gonna drop Pep. Pup Pie, there's room in there for more than just Pep. Monkey Balloons! Again, functionally no different from regular balloons. They just look cooler. And it just occurred to me that those could actually be Clown Balloons. They're Monkey Balloons! The music tracks in this game tend to be actually rather long, like much longer than you usually spend on a given level. So if you if you think the music is catchy, I'd recommend looking up the full thing. They're quite good. Well done. You guys make a great team. Smiley face! Made out of smiley face balloons. Let's kill it. Balloons are evil. Balloons must die. I think it's... Like, the plot point is kind of interesting, where it's like, Pep lets all these balloons go, so they have to go catch them. It's like, and they're catching the balloons by popping them? What's the point of that? There we go. Boom, boom, boom! So yeah, like I said, the levels are extremely basic and stay extremely basic for a long time, but eventually they get quite tricky. Because they add... I believe they add a new gimmick in every world, so the first world, they, the gimmick they add... Yep, there goes Stretch and Wemo Putt Putt. First world, they added the candy gimmick. This world, they added the question mark balloon gimmick. Next world, they're gonna add a new gimmick. Oh, my candy! Last level of Car Town! Ooh, Crescent Moon Balloons. I love Moon Balloons. Also, this is a level where you can get a pretty good combo if you can get Pep up to the top. Oh, Pep, destroy that, please. Oh, Pep, no. Yes, good! I was afraid he wasn't going to reach all the way up to the top, but he did! Which means we can end the game on another bonus level. I love the Junior Arcade bonus levels. They always tend to be really fun. Oh, a little too high, Pep. Pot, pot, pot. Bonus level. So this one's structured differently. Let's get moving, Pep. So now, unfortunately, we don't have the luxury of stretch limo pup pot to catch all the aliens. We'll have to rely on regular old pup pot. The nice thing about, uh, Pep with the space helmet is that he tends to bounce upwards when he hits a balloon, or a spaceship in this case. Tends to. Also, if you drop Pep in the bonus stage, you don't lose a life, you just end the bonus stage immediately. But I caught him! And that's where we're gonna leave the episode off for today. Thank you so much for watching, I'm Colorful Artie, if you tune in next time, we're going to the next world. I think you guys will be excited to see what it is. Have a great day, and God bless.